Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mahoka Koko no Retose season 2 episode number 6. In the previous episode Tatsuya and like uh, everyone had a run in with that parasite thing and the parasite was quite powerful and he, like the parasite thing had uh, like taken control of that uh, girl uh, with whom Angie knew. Uh, what was her name? It was something Mia, I think. I can't remember her name. Anyways, and so like she was act acting as a host to the parasite. Now the parasite has like uh, went out of her and has taken control of that um, android. Now the question is like um, like I had like a bit of uh, a, what can I say? A kind of a suspicion as to like the parasite might not be something that is biological because obviously like it is like taking control of like a human body like a biological thing and after that suddenly it takes control of an android if it was like just like a biological parasite uh, it won't be like uh, it would be unable to do even like take control of some kind of like a technological thing so obviously it taking control of an android kind of makes it more uh, as if like a hybrid of an uh, organic and at like a mechanical type of parasite uh, obviously because it was like shooting out beams as well so like, like no organic parasite would be able to shoot out beams i think so it was like i think it is like some kind of a hybrid between those so that was the reason why it was able to take control of an android and uh, Let's see, let's see what happens and Tatsuya and uh, ING, uh, like everyone was there, everyone, like the whole thing is like out in the open now. So let's see how they like counteract the whole thing. So yeah guys, without further ado, let's get started with episode number 6 of Mahoka Koko no Retose season 2. Okay, I'll be putting in the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1. Go. USNA Embassy. Oh, wait. Yeah, like, why this timing? He's been like, she's been like called back. <laughs> is some like is she being replaced by someone? Oh, this person or not? of the stars um in the military not in the whole world True power. Okay. But so that was not her final form. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My god. Okay, so this person, like, um, what was her name? Virginia, uh, the commander. She's talking as if, like, um, Angie was supposed to be, like, the powerful, most powerful magician in the whole world. And she has only been defeated by Miyuki. Now, like, just. Imagine like what would she do if she learns that there's another one like Tatsuya is also a person who would could probably defeat um, Angie <laughs> My god
so i'm guessing this will be like a whole arc like in season one we had a lot of arcs in like the 24 episodes we had like there were i think two or three arcs but this is i'm guessing will be one complete arc Stacking a passage of Okay. Oh, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Is that isn't isn't that your speciality? Yeah. Okay. Then it, oh my god, here it is. And here it is. Yeah, like demon and all. Regulate match. <laughs> Is it? As always, there will be like two factions of this whole thing. Like people who do not like this and people who would like more like magical enhancements. Yeah. Uh, like there will always be like two factions in this whole thing. Like is technology good? Is magic bad? Stuff like these. Hmm. Seven sages. Who? Hmm. Name which they gave us. Okay. <laughs> Sundres can't help it, like, <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Let's in committing crime. Hmm. Oh, why have I been yawning so much?
Okay. Oh, yeah, it's February 13th. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Mm. Yeah, you should not like think too much of it. Like, you should think about it, but not like that. <laughs> But yeah, but it's like reverse. And I think in the rest of the world, the guys give chocolate to the girls. Um, why? <laughs> okay. This girl. <laughs> oh my god, what's that? <laughs> this cycle? The cycle, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, what? Ninety five. Oh, my. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're gonna give him like in the middle of the street? He's pretty like what can I say? Accepting of all of this, like <laughs> Well Oh Wait, wasn't this supposed to be given on White Day? Okay. Oh. Oh, I thought uh, like maybe he was like giving back some kind of like food or like candy or something. Wait a minute. What is that? Oh my god, what? Okay. Hmm. Leo, it's okay.
dead. <laughs> Wait, why is Mikiko getting the same thing? <laughs> oh. Oh no. <laughs> Mexico. Why? Oh. I Um <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> uh -huh. Wait <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Wow. Well, he got a lot of them. My God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, I was not expecting an episode like this <laughs> after whatever the hell happened previously. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> run, run for your life. <laughs> Oh my Oh my god, here it is. <laughs> oh no. Well it's the same thing. Ah. <laughs> uh, what's with the music? On the server. Well, yeah, the password is like inside the Android. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Oh, per perception. Common sensual perception. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, sharing of their like senses. <clears throat> yeah, trial and error. Um, no. <laughs> okay. What about the chocolate? Um nope. He won't be able to go, I'm sure. <laughs> She's gonna stop him. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> That's I thought maybe I'd be able to like slip away from this, but nope. <laughs> oh, they look good, so 
Let's see, like this, em the emotionless Tasha, how he will like react. <laughs> um, we did not see his face. Oh no, I really wanted to see how he like, how his face looked like after eating it. Um, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. Oh, no. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh! They were like spying on them. <laughs> well, you can run, but you can't hide from Tasia's eyes. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> nope. That's not overthinking. Mm. Oh, and there it is. Yep. <laughs> this is how she did it. <laughs> oh. My God. Okay. Well. <coughs> Excuse me. Wait, what's happening to her? Is she like feverish? Oh, Brandy, okay. She's drunk, okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh. Okay, so here's the thing, like um one thing I've like always uh, noticed in like Miyuki's case, like she even though like she is like extremely affectionate towards Tatsuya and like like almost like on top of him <laughs> um whenever like people ask her uh, like uh about Tatsuya and everything in, in season one also like she like like says it like clearly that we are like siblings nothing is like that <coughs> but his her actions does not like speak like that like her actions and her words speak are, are like completely different and this is like something that I think like she herself does not realize it oh there's more of them okay I'll talk about it later on she was unable to give it Wait. 
Someone's in there? Hello? Oh my god. Wait a minute. Why is she? That is her house. That's her house, isn't she? Okay, that's the end. Yeah, as I was saying, like, uh, so here's the thing, like, I, I think, like, Miyuki herself does not understand the whole thing that she is, like, um, she herself has, is, like, overly affectionate towards, like, uh, her brother, but uh, whenever someone asks him, her, or, like, whenever this whole thing is, like, uh, brought up in front of her by someone else, she always, like, denies it and says, like, uh, yeah, he's, she's my, like, he's my brother. There's nothing like something like that won't happen. It is like impossible. But like at the same time, she like <laughs> gets uh, like uh, angry at other girls, like jealous uh, on other girls and stuff like those. So she herself does not, um, I think, uh, realize the whole thing. Like she like her her own feelings and all. So <clears throat> yeah, like um, this. I this I also like uh, kind of. <clears throat> uh like i felt this way because like uh in season one a similar kind of thing also happened where she like just said yeah it was uh when um i think um when they were like meeting cardinal george and crimson prince i can't remember but uh, there was a similar thing like this which happened in this episode and she just said like uh no uh we're brothers like we're siblings uh we're not brothers we're siblings that's why uh, that uh, something like that won't. It, it, it's not the case, but at the same time she like gets jealous and everything. So yeah, like I think that is like the thing with Miyuki. Like she herself is not quite sure of like her own feelings. <coughs> mm, yeah, and this was a like light-hearted um, episode uh, with more like comedic uh, comedic portions. Uh, in this episode uh, i was not expecting that at all because in the previous episode we got to see the whole thing with the parasite and the android getting possessed somehow and we also got a little bit of a uh, sneak peek of that android in this episode as well when uh, the thing is like uh, when honoka gave no, no when uh, uh, tatsuya gave those um what were those those ornaments those hair ornaments to honoka uh, uh, she said something like I'll uh, treasure it for uh, for my life or something like that and <clears throat> I think that something like uh, I don't know like something some kind of thing went out and uh, like the android caught caught that thing I don't know what the hell that was but it was something and the android like uh, woke up at that time so I'm guessing like something is uh, going to happen between those two obviously uh, another reason is because obviously we've seen both of them in the openings uh, like both of them and like uh, at first and uh, when the opening song came out i thought maybe like that was like honka's twin or something like they look almost the same only their hairstyles are the diff a difference <coughs> but now like after uh, like seeing the android uh, <coughs> excuse me <coughs> After seeing the android again, we can, uh, like, I can understand, like, uh, I figured it out that that was not some twin, but that is just the android. So, I think, like, there must be, like, some kind of thing is going to happen between those two, because in the openings, we always see both of them together. And also in the, like, um, I think in the promotional poster of, like, Mahoka season 2, so there's, like, a portion where, like, both of them are, like, <clears throat> facing each other and, like, um something like that <clears throat> okay so yeah this was more of um the what can i say uh the uh, valentine episode of which almost like all of the animals have at least once all of the like rom-com animals have like, like these are like the staple um episodes which like rom-coms have like a valentine episode a beach episode what else are there um uh, the uh, cultural festival episode, um, the, the the school trip episode, these episodes, like there is like definitely one of them, <laughs> and uh, I was not expecting <laughs> Mahoka to have one, but well, no one's complaining about it. So and th this was pretty like what can I say? Uh, funny at the same time, it was uh, 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 what can I say? It was a 
good um break towards all of the serious stuff that is happening and uh, like yeah it was a nice change of pace <clears throat> and we got to know another thing is like the seven sages don't know who the hell they are and like what their actual deal is but we have got that information and um sylvie was uh switched out with uh uh what was her name virginia yeah uh, that lady and that lady is now um i'm guessing i, I think like uh, she has some kind of problem with um angelina because obviously like uh when she met with her uh in the like when she was like this episode when she met angelina for the first time she was uh like what can i say not pleased with him, her and also later on we also see her looking at the like uh, when they were like spying on tatsuya and uh, uh, miyuki uh, we saw her like looking extremely like annoyed at um angelina uh, through uh, like through the satellites so i don't know the, my is like there's something like bad relationship between them i don't know probably see that later on the actual matter is and uh, <clears throat> yeah and and uh, that's uh, like the thing with saigusa was quite funny and i was hoping to see tasia like express some emotions but they did not show us they like <laughs> did not show us that tasia's face at all after like he bit into that um 95% um cocoa chocolate <laughs> um yeah okay and uh, what else was here Mm. yeah that was basically the episode oh and uh, in the beginning we also saw tatsuya like um <clears throat> doing some kind of training to like get those parasite and uh, uh in like ninja sensei's uh place yeah and <clears throat> now here's what i think i don't know like this parasite um like uh, got inside the android and uh, like it was like and what can i say the parasite was against uh, uh all of them like that's and everyone like they were like fighting against it now after i think uh, whatever the hell happened there like uh, when honoka said that i'll treasure this uh, forever or something like that and the android like woke up <clears throat> i think maybe like uh the android is going to i'm like uh, by android i'm uh, talking about the parasite and the android it's most probably i don't know it's going to switch out and uh like help that's and all in their like fight i don't know this is something that i'm guessing obviously because uh, of uh, quite a few things uh, i'm basing this on number one is that obviously uh the openings and uh, like all all of the like openings and like the promotional poster and everything showed honoka and that android um together and like it seemed as if they were like fighting together or something so that is one thing why i uh, like think this is going to happen the same thing is going to happen another thing is obviously like uh, we saw it from like uh, in today's episode only like uh, like some kind of positive feelings those positive feelings that honoka had to satsuya that kind of i think re reverberated and uh, the thing uh, transferred to the android so definitely i think there will be some kind of connection between those two and obviously if there's like a connection between those two they'll obviously like fight uh, with Tatsuya not against I think like most probably the uh, android and the parasite are going to uh, switch teams who knows uh, this is most probably just going to happen because obviously like there are uh, those two other reasons that I uh, said those are the reasons why I think that's going to happen <clears throat> and uh, yeah um okay uh, and also like that's a got a lot of chocolate uh first one was like from honoka then um uh who was that uh those uh two uh girls and like from the whole team like uh that uh Tatsuya, uh like uh, worked for in like season one uh there were quite a few of them quite a few chocolates in them and uh, then uh after that he got uh one from saigusa <laughs> however like um what can i say even though it was not uh 
um del- like delicious but still the it's the thought that counts so yeah <laughs> and then after that um he could have gotten another one from like angelina but obviously like um she is uh, a different type of creature a creature which we call sundre so obviously like <laughs> it's tough like so she was unable to get that <laughs> and um then after that uh he got one from yuki oh and uh, he also like got uh, a few from uh what was that um what was her name shibata shibata and uh, erika i don't know if erika gave him something or not yeah a lot of them so um yeah like <laughs> like i think this is like the first anime where we see a protagonist getting so many like um <clears throat> chocolates be it like um obligatory or like real like homemade or giddy uh, whichever it is like uh, so many of them like like all of the animes we usually watched either like the protagonist is like extremely unpopular or <laughs> something like that or uh, it gets only one of them from his or her like uh, preferred uh, uh, main hero or heroine and if it's a harem anime then only from the harem mem- uh, members but this like episode we saw like even outside <laughs> even outside Tasuya's harem is getting still like chocolates so <laughs> yeah that is some uh, skill so but what else do you expect this is Tatsuya like so <laughs> this is uh, something like which is uh just like th- there's something normal for him so yeah. <laughs> um the person who can like uh revive uh, from being dead uh, this is just like nothing this is for him <laughs> <laughs> okay so <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> excuse me and uh, yeah and uh, like i was like quite uh intrigued by the like thing that miyuki said like uh her like not understanding her own feelings like uh this is really something that like he like she there's also another thing like she wholeheartedly i think uh supported honoka's uh like uh when she like decided to give uh the chocolate to tatsuya i thought maybe like she was going to get jealous or something but no that was not the case so <clears throat> that is also the reason why I think like she herself does not understand her own feelings and <clears throat> she thinks that um, like she the thing that she feels towards that is just like normal sibling like uh, sibling love but uh, actually that is not the case she I don't think she understand that that is why like she is like this type of like she like, gets jealous but at the same time kind of like um, supports um, everything that like uh, his uh, like her brother's um love life yeah like, that is that that is quite like i i kind of uh, felt like this in this first season as well but i was not sure but after like this episode i'm like quite sure now like she herself is uh does not understand the whole thing that's why like that's why i don't think that's why like cares about anyone other than like miyuki but uh like there's a reason for that because obviously like his like he has no emotions because of like the his extreme power takes up most of the space so emotions is something that she was stripped of so like that is the reason but uh i don't know miyuki i'm most probably like miyuki is just like that she still does not understand it i don't know i think that is the case that might not be the case at all it might be something completely different so yeah that is just something that i felt after watching this episode so that like explains the reason why like in her like inconsistent behavior like once like uh like she gets jealous and at the same time she also like feels happy for his brother her brother and like that so yeah that was um episode number six of mahoka koko no retose season two so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed be sure to do so and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share about this episode or the anime itself i'll be sure to check them out and uh, so yeah i'll be back with a new mahoka koko no retose video 
uh, next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day